That's his Connor reporting for IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here with Frank Buglioni <coughs> after his uh, sixth round stoppage today at your call. How did, how did it all go? Go to plan, Frank? Danny, I've known you about five, six years now and you still can't say the name right. <laughs> Fully on, yeah. That's it, he's got it. Yeah, no, it was, um, it was, a, it was a good performance. Um, he was a very tough fella. And um, no, I, I really enjoyed the performance. There was a lot of pressure, obviously. Yeah, changing trainers, going away, doing different things. And um, it was the ideal fight, really. Got out there, got yeah. shook a bit off and um, yeah, practiced a few of the new things I've been learning. He did, he looked tough as nails, didn't he? he I'll tell you what, his face afterwards was proper marked up, busted up, never seen him like that. Wouldn't be, I said a few people wouldn't be surprised if that was him finished now, to be honest. That was a horrible beating there, but you've been working on, obviously, new things in training. Did that all go into practice? Did it all go good and to plan like you'd planned out? Yeah, bit, bits and pieces definitely um, come into play, but it's it's just the beginning of something, it's the beginning of something new. And um, obviously with each fight that goes by, each training camp that goes by, I'll, um, I'll learn more and more and ingratiate the, the little bits and pieces in the fights that I'm doing in sparring and pads and, yeah. and training camp. So uh, yeah, as I say, yeah, it's the start of something exciting. Everything, uh, they turned out again in force, the Buglioni fans, the Buglioni bottle was bump, bumping again, wasn't it? Yep. So uh, what's next on the agenda for, for, you and, for you and the fans? Well, I'll be back out 29th of November on a Billy Joe, uh, Chris Eubank undercard. So uh, I'm sure there'll be about 1,000 Team Buglioni and Fulce. Um, I've had about three, three 400 already message and try and reserve tickets and ask about it. But I said, let me get this fight out of the way and then I'll get back to you. But obviously got to win yeah. and um, yeah, roll on to the next one. Obviously a bit of a touchy subject. Um, obviously you left, you parted ways with um, like Mark and Jimmy or whatever and you've gone over to Steve and his team now. As a, do you feel like the moves benefited you? Can you see the difference in everything now? Yeah, well, it's, it's not a touchy subject. It's, it's business at the end of the day, and that's, uh, that's boxing. You've got to do what's right for you. You only get one crack at it. Yeah. You only get one career, and it's a very tough sport in there, um, as, you, as you know. So you've got to do what's right for you. And um, wholeheartedly, I've, I've made the right decision, and just paying dividends. I've just got to go, keep doing what I'm doing, head yeah. down, work hard, and, uh, yeah, I'll get to the top. Right, mate, that's good. Do you want to say anything else? No, just uh, thanks to all the sponsors again. Speedflex, Daniele, West One, Bet Victor, Hearts Heritage, Trifan Technologies, Lamanga Club, uh, Wild West Beef Jerky, Daniele. So uh, there's a few yeah, sponsors, we'll and all they're, they're, all, they're, all, they're all playing their part and they're all helping me. So uh, that's it, and prior scaffolding, me, uh, me brother in law. So uh, he'll have the left hand on me uh, tomorrow. Good, so, good job, yeah. any William story with you? He's bits. fantastic man. He stuck by me after the defeat, and um, we've re rebuilt and gone together. And yeah, uh, yeah we're going from strength that's to strength. Improved yeah. performance. Well done, Frank. And thanks for the interview, mate. Top man. Cheers.